a good looking suit you have on there. Thank you very much. How you doing? Everything all right? I'm good, man. Yeah, just got into LA last night. Oh, you did? From where? Uh, from London. Oh, from London. Nice. So, yeah, nice. just woke up at five in the morning. Like... Did you? Are you discombobulated? Yeah, I'm not really sure where I am right now. <laughs> uh... A lot of, uh, we have, uh, actually, there's a woman here in our audience tonight from London. She really enjoyed our airport here in LA. Oh, really? Yeah. Where is she? <laughs> She's over right here in the corner. Yeah, what's up? Yeah. How you doing? Yeah. Yeah. She's a spy for the Royal Air Force. Yeah. <laughs> she weirdly sat behind me throughout the whole flight. Okay? <laughs> yeah. She was What's kicking up? your seat. Yeah. <laughs> What's it like coming through the airport from another country nowadays? Um, you know, it depends what country you're coming here from. I, I guess. I see. Right. That's yeah. a big thing. I mean, um, it was a very long line. Very it was, long yeah. line yesterday. Yeah. But yeah. I don't know. I used to have a bit more problems coming through the airport. Um, but. Uh, now I just go, Rogue One. And oh, you're right, just, yeah. They let me through. You carry I, I your action figure problem. around? A little bit, yeah. It's a little brooch with my own face on it. Just if you have an action figure, you shouldn't even need a passport. You should just be able to go, like, yeah, there I am. Kids <laughs> have me in their homes. <laughs> uh, and, and, uh, and I was mentioning your, your rap career. You are yeah. not, and most of the time when actors are also rappers, it's a terrible thing. It's right. like an embarrassing thing. Okay. And I personally will do my best to not bring it up. But <laughs> you're really good. Some people, Thank you. Some people call you Riz Khalifa. Are you aware of that? <laughs> I'm not aware of that. Oh, I, I, think I, I may have just made that up. Yeah, but... I wish you hadn't made me aware of that. <laughs> yeah. But I know you have a single coming out in That's like a right. week, yeah, right? That's right, yeah. It's actually my first bit of solo music that I've put out in a while. Um, been kind of performing with the Sweatshop Boys, which is my band, for the last couple of years. So this kind of carries on in that mold, which is really just about mixing all the different influences that, that make up me. You know, it's a little bit of South Asian music, bit of American music, bit of UK rave music. And, uh, yeah, the track's out next week, and it's called Mogambo. Mogambo. Now, I've heard this word before. What does that mean? Um, right, yeah, so Mogambo is... Uh, He's probably the most famous supervillain in all of Bollywood film history. Is that right? Yeah, he's like from this classic film called Mr. India that was out in 1987. That I was watching when I was like five years old. And he's really famous mainly because he's got like the best catchphrase. What is his catchphrase? Are you gonna say it if I teach it to you? Of course. Okay, here we go. Yeah. So uh, it's really quite simple. It's Mogambo Hushua. Mogambo Hushua. You nailed it. Is that good? <laughs> you didn't know I'm multilingual. Um, it sounds a lot scarier than it is. Really, what it means is just Magambo is happy. Yeah. <laughs> I know, but the thing is, is the context, because he says it after someone's, like, jumped into a big bathtub of acid for Oh, him, right, that's what that makes him happy. Yeah. yeah, not the normal stuff. So is he, like, a supervillain, would he be considered? He is the supervillain. The yeah. supervillain. Yeah. Does Magambo. he have, like, if he was the Joker, would he have a Batman that he... Is there a <laughs> hero that fights Magambo? There was. There was a hero that fought Magambo. His name is Mr. India. <laughs> really, Mr. India? Mr. India. I guess it's like Captain America, Mr. Yeah. India. Yeah. 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 He won some kind of beauty contest and he got to fight Mogambo. That and does good. Mr. India beat Mogambo? I don't want to ruin the ending for you. Oh, but... okay, all right. <laughs> so well, the song... I do think Mogambo should have his own spin off series and, you know, I just want to throw him a hat in the ring and say, you know, if you yeah. can resurrect Mogambo, yes, I have to beat you for the role now that you can do the line so well. Well, but... maybe I'll be Mr. India. Okay, let's do you it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> We can do this together. Okay. <laughs> you brought a photograph here with you, and this is... This is the artwork for the Magambo single. Yes, this yeah. is... This is... Who are these guys? I wish I knew. You don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Do they know it's... they're the artwork for the single? I kind of get the feeling they knew that they were being photographed from right. the pose. At least I hope they did, otherwise right. that's just a very strange... I wonder how they position. decided who was going to be carrying who. <laughs> in this. It's like any relationship, right? It just works itself out. Where... <laughs> um, Where was this photo taken? You know, the thing is, um, this is in Pakistan, right? So I went to Pakistan for the first time in 13 years, and I hadn't been in a long time. I wasn't sure what to expect, and... It's just a beautiful country, man. It has problems like is any it? developing country. Because we hear things, and to me it seems, and I know this is an ignorant thing to say, but it seems like a scary place to go. Right, exactly. But, you know, a lot of people will see what happened in the UN today, see Donald Trump and go, America's a very scary place. That's true, yeah. <laughs> and, um... <laughs> but they would also be right. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, what I've learned is that there are scary people everywhere. Yeah. You know, there are scary people here, scary people there, and also cool people everywhere. So, um, it was a kind of an unexpected place, and what I liked about this photograph, it was like, 
I don't know, I feel like often brown men are portrayed to be really scary, like they're going to come and eat your kids and hurt you. Right. Or, like, really, really effeminate and they can never get the girl. And what I like about this photograph is, is it's kind of like it's both. They could hurt you, but they, they have to get through a box set of Sex in the City first, you know? <laughs> it's like... <laughs> It's, it's the yin and the yang, <laughs> together. What did you do while so, you were yeah. in uh, Pakistan? Um, man, I did so many things um, that I shouldn't have done. Oh, really? yeah. illegal things or things that were not permitted? I didn't realize they were illegal at the time. I see. That's what you're gonna, that, like, what kinds of yeah, things but that's are... not a good defense when you speak to the police. There, it is just not. Just so you know, yeah. <laughs> so, um, so we actually wanted to go to this, um, to this shrine. You know, there's this really beautiful, colorful shrine of this little island off the coast of Karachi, which is one of the biggest cities in the world. And so we were over there and we were like, how do we get over there? And this like 12 year old pulls up in a rickety pirate ship and like, need a ride? And so we were like, okay, cool. You know, that's one lesson from Pakistan, expect the unexpected. So we get taken over there. We're about to go to this lovely shrine and um, these um, army officers come up to us and they're like, yeah, so this is a shrine but we also low-key converted this island into a naval base and you're trespassing and you're foreign passport holders, so please follow me. Oh. Right? It's not that scary. It's happened to me at LAX uh, several times. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. It's not I'm as bad as it sounds. I've got to thank all the staff at JFK for preparing me for this moment. <laughs> so, um, so I get, go over to the side and, um, and these guys are like, what are you doing here? And the thing, again, you know, as you said, you just hear scary stuff about Pakistan or that right. whole part of the world, the Muslim world. And the thing you've got to understand is poets are held in such high esteem there. It's like, you know, over here there's a pop idol or American idol. Yeah. In the Arab Gulf, it's poetry idol. Really? Right? Yeah, people get up and recite That's a poetry. show there? That's a huge show there. Oh, right? wow. So, um, so that they would hold not that. work here. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe it would. Maybe Who it knows? Would, yeah. I didn't think Dancing with the Stars would work either. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so I, I kind of clocked this, and so they said, what are, you, you know, what are you doing here? And I said, I'm a poet. I'm a rapper. Good thought. Yeah. So this guy was like, what you got? Oh, poetry-wise? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I then found myself in this surreal situation of having to freestyle rap for my freedom. <laughs> wow. From being detained by military intelligence on a naval base in Pakistan. <laughs> and so I started rapping, and they liked it, and they let me go. <laughs> <laughs> It's like a bad movie from the 80s. Yeah, exactly, right. It's like Break In 3 or something like that. Riz Ahmed is here with us. His movie is called Venom. We will see that after this. Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, click the subscribe button. And if you didn't like it, well, you hurt my feelings.